Yo, what's going on guys? So this is going to be a very simple and straightforward video on how to get your audio from your streaming PC and your gaming PC to work into the same headset as well as getting it to work on OBS and getting OBS to pick it all up. Um, this is for people who want literally nothing on their gaming PC bes running besides the game. Um, all these other videos out there are showing you how to do this stuff, but you have to have stuff running on your gaming PC. This one, you're not going to have anything running on your gaming PC. The only thing you're going to have running is the game. Um, all the stress of streaming is going to be on your streaming PC. So go ahead and follow these steps and you should be good. All right, just to clarify before I go into explaining how I have my computers hooked up and how I have them linked, um, you're going to want to make sure your headset is plugged into your streaming PC, not the gaming one. You want it plugged into the streaming PC or this, this video is not going to help you out. So you're going to want to make sure it's plugged into the streaming PC. All right, so now that you guys have gotten your headset all plugged into your streaming PC, I'm going to go ahead and explain how I personally link my PCs together, how I link the gaming PC to the streaming PC and vice versa. Um, if you're going to follow this tutorial, I highly suggest you do this the same way as well because this is, I don't know if it'll work any other way. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. So I have an Elgato HC60 Pro, which is the internal Elgato that plugs into a PCI slot on my motherboard, but this should work with the external one. I don't see why it wouldn't. Once you've gotten your Elgato all hooked up and set up, you're going to want to run an HDMI cable from the HDMI in port of the Elgato to the back of the graphic card on your gaming PC. So the HDMI cable is plugged into two places, one in the Elgato in port and then one into the gaming PC's graphics card. So what you're going to want to do is get sound capture installed onto both PCs. So you want this installed on both through gaming and your streaming PC. Um, in order to get this, you're going to have to go to Google Chrome or whatever your browser is and go to the Elgato Downloads website. Um, I'll leave a link in the description or you can literally just type in Elgato Game Capture and it's the first link that comes up. Just go ahead and download it for Windows. Um, I'm going to do this real quick. Just go ahead and set it up and I'll be right back. I want to go ahead and open up your sound capture. Go ahead over to Advanced and scroll all the way down to where it says Elgato and make sure it is unticked. You have to make sure this is unticked, okay? Everything else I have ticked, it doesn't really matter, um, but just make sure you have the Elgato NVIDIA High Definition Audio unticked. All right, so once you have the Elgato unticked and unmuted, go ahead and close out of the sound capture because you're not going to need it anymore. Go ahead and head over to your speaker, right click it, go to sounds, go to playback, and make sure you have Elgato sound capture set to the default device in playback and as well as in recording. All right, so now that we're done with the gaming PC, we're gonna head over to the streaming PC and we're gonna make sure that we have the sound capture installed again and head back over to advanced. I have everything muted except for my headset, so I have a HyperX Cloud 2 headset. So I went ahead and unmuted the headphone, earphones, HyperX virtual surround sound. It'll say whatever headset you have or whatever you're using for your for your game audio or for your audio at all. So make sure whatever you're using for your audio, your headset, your speakers, whatever, make sure that is unticked. You don't need anything else unticked. Everything else can stay muted. Um, but like I said, you're gonna need the Elgato sound capture on both PCs, so make sure you install that. Just do exactly the same thing you did earlier when you install it on your gaming PC and just do it on your streaming PC. Again, you're gonna wanna go over to sounds and go back to playback. And you wanna make sure Elgato sound capture is set to the default device. In order to make sure that it actually is, just go ahead and click on the little speaker icon and it will show you. You want to make sure the speaker Elgato sound capture is set for both your gaming and your streaming PC at all times when you're trying to record or trying to stream or do whatever you're trying to do on OBS. All right, now, now it's time for OBS. You have to make sure you have OBS installed. I'm sure you guys have already done that. I don't think I need to explain how to install OBS, but if you guys don't know how to, I'll leave a link in the description on how to download OBS and where to get OBS. Um, it's very simple, very straightforward, but I assume since you're watching this, you've already streamed in the past and you already know what you're doing. So I'm not going to go ahead and install and explain how to install OBS. So now that you guys have gotten your OBS all set up, go ahead and scroll down in your sources to whatever is capturing your monitor and capturing your gaming PC. Go ahead and double click that, go to the properties, scroll all the way down. And this is the thing that ties everything together. So you're 100% you need to do this. If one thing you do this video is this, okay? So under audio output mode, go ahead and click that. And by default is select to capture audio only, but you want have you want to have it to output desktop audio wave out. That is the whole thing that ties us everything together. This is the thing that's going to get everything working for you. So go ahead and click that. 
click OK. All right, so once you guys have done that, go make sure you restart your OBS because sometimes if you don't restart your OBS, it could really screw it up. If you really wanted to and be safe, you could restart both your gaming and your streaming PC, get everything set back up, and then come back to this video. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that I 100% do have audio coming in to OBS from both my streaming and my gaming PC. So real quick, I'll throw some, uh, I'll throw my Spotify up over here, and just keep an eye out on this desktop audio right now. There's nothing moving besides my mic. Um, so once I go ahead and click play on my streaming PC, I do have desktop audio. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so you guys can see it for a better example. All right, so now that you guys see that I do have audio from my streaming PC, I'll go ahead and show you guys that I have audio from my Elgato, which is my main PC, my gaming PC. I'll just go ahead and go head over to, I don't know, YouTube, I guess. I can't even type, apparently. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this random video. And I'm gonna turn it up. And as you guys can hear, there is audio coming from this PC, and I'll show it again on OBS because I know some of you guys will wanna see that. Click that again, and boom. It's all working, everything's good. All right, so once you have done all that, you're good. You should have audio from both your streaming and gaming PC into the same headset. Um, you can now freely stream anything you want and not have any stress on your gaming PC. Like if you play intensive games like you know PUBG, Fortnite, H1Z1, whatever game it is you're playing, you'll be able to play it so much better, so much smoother on your gaming PC when you have nothing open, nothing running besides that one game. Um, so for example, when I stream, um, I I literally have nothing open on my gaming PC besides whatever game I am playing. As of right now, I'm playing Fortnite. Um, so I, I have literally nothing open besides Fortnite. And on my streaming PC, I have my OBS, my chat, my dashboard, whatever you know music I'm listening to. Because I'm always listening to music. I always have music in the background. Um, so I have all that running on my streaming PC and have all the stress off of my gaming PC. So if this did help you guys out, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, please share it with your friends. I know there's a lot of videos out there that are 17 minutes plus long and they don't work. They are making you install all these other weird programs and all this other crap that's not needed and you still don't get audio from both PCs to the same headset. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching. I hope this guys helped. I hope this video helped you guys out and peace out. Good luck.